Boomerang from Boomerang on Revenge of the 80s Radio. The trio featured three former coconuts at the time, Adriana Kegi, Cheryl Poirier, and Perry Lister. Adriana is a longtime friend to this program from near the beginning. Along with her talents in the spotlight, Adriana was a pioneer of internet video streaming and e-business, building her company, Addy Media, into a video content powerhouse. She now has a new television channel, Style Culture Television or Style Culture TV, now on Roku and expanding to other services soon as we celebrate our 12th anniversary on the air, Revenge of the 80s Radio, that is. Adriana is here with me now. Welcome again to the show. Well, hello there, and congratulations for your 12th anniversary. It's quite remarkable. It's not an easy industry, and you're super good at what you do and very consistent, so congratulations. Oh, thank you, Adriana, and we try to keep consistent here and uh, keep it going, and congratulations on your new channel, as a matter of fact. Well, thank you. It's exciting. First, before we go into what you're doing today, I played a Boomerang song, the song Boomerang, of course, and the forming of the band has a rather interesting story, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Well, do you want me to elaborate on the story? Oh, of, yeah, of yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and, well, I did this documentary called Kid Creole and My Coconut, since the coconuts were my invention, and I wanted to tell it from my point of view as of my journey that I had with the band. And um, I started filming my journey because I knew that I was living a really special life surrounded by incredible characters worth filming. So I was a pest and would film all the time. And when band members wanted to talk to me, they had to talk to my camera. And I was a nuisance. However, when the film actually was screened at uh, museums, and they would come and watch the film and then thank me so much for having filmed it because they were able to then see what was just a mere faded memory in their head actually on film. So they were glad that I was being a nuisance. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm glad I got to make the film. It's available on Vimeo, Kid Creole and My Coconuts. And it will soon be available on Style Culture TV on Roku. Well, that's terrific. And our listeners can hear your history as a musician and co-founder of Kid Creole and the Coconuts in our first interview, which is both on our website, revengeofthe80sradio.com, and the Revenge of the 80s YouTube channel. Let's jump into the future. And you frankly saw it coming at the time when entrepreneurs were still trying to figure out the internet in the 90s, Adriana. Uh, well, my story is very unique. I came back to New York from Paris and was introduced to the founders of Razorfish. And they were working out of their apartment at the time. And it was my dear friend and writer, Vivian Goldman, who introduced me to them. In turn, they had introduced me to the internet. And I was blown away with all the possibilities that uh, it had to offer, creatively speaking. So... I found a place in New York that had T1 lines, which means lines fast enough to actually broadcast live streams. And that was the Knitting Factory in 1998 that created the first ever series of live interactive programming. And it was called Cyber Cabaret. And I made it for people with short attention spans. So I had in one hour, seven different acts and I was hosting it. There was a real audience, a small audience of the New York cultural elite. And then there were the uh, cyber audience. And I don't know who they were, but they were interacting <laughs> because the real audience could see projected on the wall what the cyber audience was saying about the show or interacting to win a date with one of the members or whatever we were offering at that time. It was uh, pioneering, revolutionizing. Oh, that's not a good word. It was <laughs> pioneering. And uh, most people had no idea what I was doing, but they enjoyed the show. <laughs> so that's going to be my next documentary that I'm going to have a millennial uh, creative co-worker direct. I will just consult on that. Ah, a new documentary coming out. That's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, the savvy you had at the time did not come out of the wilderness, Adriana. You have a true business background even before co-founding Kid Creole and the Coconuts. Well, I did go to business school in Switzerland. Yes, and, uh, being a creative soul, I think it helped me having both of those skill sets. You became known as the queen of stream at the time. What did you see in the potential of the Internet before some others might have? Well, I always knew that it would become what it is to 
today, and uh, we haven't even started scratching the surface. We are basically uh, still in the Wild West when it comes to Internet streaming. Streaming media is still growing, and we don't know where it's going. Anybody who tells you they know, they're lying. Nothing is regulated yet, and uh, we will see. I'm in it to win it. So oh, that's right. hopefully... We yeah, we don't want those regulators nosing around here, do we? <laughs> Basically, with streaming, is it gives you what you want to see when you want to see it. Yeah, and the whole subscription model uh, also doesn't seem to work so much anymore. For simple reason, people have subscription fatigue because how many subscriptions can you manage and have? So our channel is free if you see advertisement, much like the old TV model. And if you don't want to see the advertisement, you can subscribe. So it's really up to you how you wish to have the experience of Style Culture TV. You bring up something interesting, Adriana. And Adriana Kagi is with me on Revenge of the 80s Radio. We're talking about her new channel, Style Culture TV. It is time. We're subscribing to everything, whether it be a YouTube channel, a television channel, or even paying money for Netflix or Hulu or things here. That's starting to pile up for people. And not only that, you got to keep the notebook and the, the passwords. <laughs> You're right. What is the next step? It looks like we're going back to the regular advertising, doesn't it? It is funny, but yes. However, there are a lot of benefits to streaming that uh, the regular advertisement didn't have, such as analytics and uh, data that is very useful to the advertisers. That's a big help. Style Culture TV is your television channel on Roku, as we discussed. It covers fashion and pop culture. How did this evolve from the idea stage to where it is now? Well, I was heavily doing fashion, and what I'm really interested in is the current state of pop culture that includes a lot more than just fashion. Um, my interest is also very much in music, as you know, and art. So I wanted to create this channel to be very authentic, and a channel that really talks about honesty and diversity in the various businesses, and uh, talks about what it's really like to be in the business. So in other words, I like to create programs that are useful for viewers to watch and entertaining at the same time. That makes a lot of sense. It's, it's kind of like a full channel, like the magazine shows that used to be on TV for half an hour or a full hour in, in maybe 10, 12 minute packages. Interesting setup. They are 12 minute packages and I do call it a video magazine. That's exactly what it is. What are some of what listeners to our conversation now will see when they turn on Style Culture TV? Well, they can see runway fashion shows, celebrity front row interviews. They can see uh, amazing art coverage. Uh, they will see very hot girls on the runway wearing bikinis <laughs> from Miami Swim Week and more to come. We're uploading constantly new content. So if you have been there recently, do go back. It is free and you will always find new programs that may just be of interest to you. I certainly hope so. And if you do, please, please, please give me feedback. Adriana, do you have plans to go to some other services, expand the, uh, the television station? Style Culture TV has launched on Roku, but we'll expand to Amazon, Apple, and we will have an app real soon that will also include our mobile feed. That means videos one to two minutes long, much like we see on YouTube. So watch out for the Style Culture TV app. You can follow us on Facebook or Instagram uh, or Twitter. And uh, stay tuned for the app because that will be the most comprehensive way to get all of our content, which is posted daily. Yeah, it looks like everybody needs an app these days. <laughs> well, apps are handy. Adriana, as early as maybe a decade ago, people listening might have thought, a fashion channel? Why a whole 24-7 fashion channel? These days, however, specialty, niche-based channels are a new norm, especially with the advent of streaming TV services like Roku, like Amazon, Fire, and places like that. Well, the fashion TV that was a 24-7 fashion channel was a linear channel. An old-fashioned television channel going over satellite. Those business models are dying off quickly because they're too expensive and everybody is going and streaming. That puts less overhead on putting together maybe a niche channel too, which makes that more profitable, does it not? It's just overall simpler. You can move faster, better. Yeah, I'm, I know more about streaming than I know about satellite. And all I know is that streaming is where everybody's going to because it's the thing of the future because 
again. You can watch what you want to watch when you want to watch it. Who wouldn't want that? With me now is Adriana Kegi on Revenge of the 80s Radio. You also continue to create music, Adriana. Over the past 11 years plus, you released quite a bit of electronic tracks and albums of instrumental, shall we say, I guess you can call part of it mood music, but a lot of it soundtrack music, or just a lot of good stuff. Uh, you take us through the streets of New York, into space, into a funky dance hall, and around the world again with each track. Well, that sounds really uh, accurate. Um, I music as soundtracks for my videos so whatever to be inspire me to write i will write that type of music and uh, it's mostly edm because i'm a big fan of edm because i'm a dancer obviously i like dance music and uh, the soundtracks a little more ambient because there are soundtracks uh, than what i used to do when i had my first solo album tag where i was actually singing on them and wrote the lyrics and had real musicians play on them um, this is all done electronic with software i mean at home on my laptop hope you like it you can find adriana's music on soundcloud soundcloud.com slash a underscore kagi in fact you have a medley of tag tracks that's your 2009 album I do, yes, without vocals. So a nice instrumental medley of that. And that, that's a varied album in and of itself, too. I uh, had quite the instrumentation with the uh, fellow musicians there. Yeah, it's a great album. Very proud of it. And uh, Charlie Legon, my former colleague from Kikur on the Coconuts, is sac playing saxophone on it. And uh, Danny Bloom is playing bass on it. And um, some other amazing New York musicians who came to the sessions to make this album what it became you can also find the uh the music on other pages as well no the, the soundtracks is only available on soundcloud.com backslash a underscore k-a-e-g-i you can find that link on my instagram handle adriana kagi and it is absolutely free for your listening pleasures and of course as you said before your documentary kid creole and my coconuts can be seen as well Yes, my film, Kid Creole and My Coconuts, will be released on Style Culture TV. It is currently available on Vimeo. Adriana Kegi, thank you once again for being with us on Revenge of the 80s Radio. Well, thank you so much for having me. Always enjoy talking to you. And uh, again, to your audience, any questions you have for me or any feedback, which is much appreciated, feel free to contact me at Adriana at addy, a -D -D -Y, dot media is my email address. Once again, Adriana's website is addy.media. That's addy.media. Her channel, Style Culture TV on Roku, and soon, of course, other outlets. Coming soon. Let's play one of your electronic tracks from the recent past, from Adriana's 2009 album tag, Say Ma V. And that, of course, means... It's my life, and I do what I want. I hope you do, too on Revenge of the 80s Radio.